Well, blessings, everybody. This is Dale. I'm so glad you've joined with me. We're continuing through Spare Your People, Lord, the fourth course in the Kings and Prophets series. And this is a little interesting way they structure this. We're actually beginning the book of Joel right now. And so I believe in your homework, if you're going through that with us, it says that it's actually uh, lesson one of Joel, but it's actually lesson two of the entire course. So it matters not. What I encourage you to do today, though, is read through the entire book of Joel, all three chapters of it. It's not that long. You can do it in just a few minutes. And so just put the video on pause right now. Grab your Bible or look it up online and read through Joel. It's very important you read through it many, many times, okay, to see what's going on. So after you've read through all of Joel, here's what you're basically seeing going on. Joel spoke the word of God to the elders and the inhabitants of Judah. And it was a word of warning. It's literally a sounding forth of a trumpet. And God was telling his people that judgment was coming. And they were to do a couple things. They were to listen to it and they were to tell this fact. Uh, the God used an occasion to really get their attention to where they would listen, and it was a devastating locust plague that apparently had attacked the land. And the Lord said to them that this locust plague was his army and his judgment upon his people. Now, unlike some of the other minor prophets, and by minor, you know what we mean by that, it just means they're shorter in length, not lesser in importance, but just shorter in length. <coughs> Excuse me, Joel really doesn't dwell on the people's sin but on the results of the judgment of the plague and the results of the coming judgment of the day of the Lord. And we see here is the foreshadowing of the day of the Lord and the judgment that God was going to bring. And that's the main theme <coughs> of Joel. Excuse me. There had never been anything like this locust plague that had recently struck them. Never had and never will be anything like the day of the Lord. We see this through many of the prophets when they talk of the day of the Lord, what it's going to be like, unlike anything else that had ever been. In the second chapter of Joel, God calls his people to return to him. It's one of the reasons for God's judgment on his people, is to get them to return back to him. But God's judgment is not only for his people. Joel spoke some of the judgment that's coming upon the nation. So what we see here, particularly at the end of Joel, is hope. There is hope for Judah in this prophecy. Chapters 2, the end of it, the chapter 3, speak of the restoration and the deliverance of Judah in the last days. The last days, a very important concept. Now, we do not know the exact time that Joel spoke this. We do know that it was after a devastating locust plague, and it's before the Babylonian captivity. But here's the truth that I want you to hang on today. The Lord warned them, and it came to pass. The Lord is also warning us today, and it is yet to come. Are you prepared, and are you alert? Again, I'm Dale from the Precept Classes in Cullman, Alabama. Thanks for being with us. I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.